A Tesla Model S gets pulled over, but not because the driver was speeding. Toyota wants to make this into a reality, and their Toyota Mirai might get a family. That's right. Plus, I'll fill you in on the 2016 Volkswagen Passat prices and stuff. The Toyota Mirai goes back to the future. Well, not really. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see. And it's hump day, so we will get all friendly for Friends Day Wednesday. Isn't that right, Erica? It is. Absolutely. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D. And uh, this right here is Fast Saint Daily on October 21st. Periscope Watchers live right now. Yep, you should be on it. <laughs> So it is October 21st, 2015, the day Marty McFly traveled to, the day, the day he traveled to in Back to the Future 2. Right. You know, with the hoverboard, self-lacing sneakers, flying cars, Cubs winning the World Series. I mean, we have a lot of that stuff. We have a lot of that stuff that actually was predicted. Uh, we have dehydrated foods. Uh, Lexus made a hoverboard-ish. You know, there's no self-lacing sneakers, but I'm sure we could do that if we wanted to. Cubs are close to the World Series, but the Mets are up three games, so doubtful. Uh, no flying cars, though, or weird futuristic clothes. Anyway, remember the Toyota Mirai teaser video with Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd? Well, this is the whole thing. It's out. And a scientist from Toyota basically tells Marty McFly and Doc Brown how the Mirai works. With an out-of-time license plate, and peppered in with phrases from the movie like, Are you telling me this sucker's nuclear? And this. You bet your ass it works. Ah, that's right. Doc even gives us a great Scott. Great Scott. Oh, love it. I love that Back to the Future music. So good. So good. You guys want to watch the, uh, the whole video, the link's in the description. Nice. That's pretty good. I'm pretty good at whistling. <laughs> Remember Toyota's CHR concept? Yep, that thing right there. Well, it was this angular looking thing that had everyone at the Frankfurt Motor Show being like, well, that's an outrageous design. It does look cool though. So cool that Toyota plans on making a production version sometime in 2016. Toyota said the actual CHR version that you'll be able to buy will show up just in time for the Geneva Motor Show in March. Power will probably come from a next generation hybrid system and a four cylinder engine with a CVT gearbox. Now we don't know if it's coming here to the US yet, but if so, this could be a good competitor to battle the Nissan Juke. I mean, it makes sense, right? I mean, it already looks Juke-ish. I mean, that'll be a good fight, like, oh, oh. The Nissan keeps juking left to right. Yeah, you're juking back, ow, jeez. Couple punches to the face there, Erica. Gotta relax. All right, I'm good. Hey, speaking of Toyota, the Toyota Prius lineup consists of the standard Prius, the Prius C, and the Prius V. Well, we're hearing that the Toyota Mirai hydrogen fuel cell car will also get a family of siblings. At least that's what the Mirai's chief engineer is saying, Yoshikaza Tanaka. Yoshikaza Tanaka. Yoshikazu Tanaka. That's what it is. <laughs> Man, sorry. <laughs> Uh, he said he would welcome a range of vehicles employing the alternative fuel. However, the technology is still very young. Even though earlier this year Toyota said it would increase Mirai production to 3,000 units in 2017 due to unexpectedly high demand, a few months later it said that it cannot produce more than 3,000 cars per year because making the fuel cell stacks is so time consuming. Cop mad fuel stacks, son. Stacks on stacks. What can I say? The future is coming. I mean, it is October 21st, 2015 and all. Right. I mean, it is. It we is are back to the future. Yeah. For real. So last week, there was all this big hoopla about Tesla updating its software to 7.0 and bringing a lot of autonomous driving features to the Model S and the upcoming Model X. In case you didn't know, these autonomous driving features let the Teslas park themselves, switch lanes, and cruise on their own. Well, it seems like these Teslas like to go fast. <laughs> That's right. Apparently, the Tesla Model S likes to autopilot itself outside of speed limits, Erica. What? Yes. According to Drag Times, their Model S got popped by the Florida Highway Patrol for doing 75 miles per hour in a 60 mile per hour zone. 75 in a 60? Come on now. In the Tesla's defense, no one goes 60 miles per hour on a highway. 
Let's be honest here, folks. It's ridiculous. Right. You ever been on like the turnpike, not the turnpike or the uh, parkway in 45 in a construction zone? No one is going 45. You will get in an accident if you're going 45. At least 60. At least 60 to 65. Anyway, the drivers actually weren't properly insured either. Ugh. So you can't blame the Elon Muskinator for that one. In related news, later that day, the same Tesla Model S was spotted at a local charging station just chugging energy. So I know that guy that owns that car. Oh, really? His name is Brooks. Okay, Brooks. Classy. Yeah. Slow down, Brooks. Yeah, so that, uh, that Tesla Model S was driving under the influence of electricity, so. Yeah. Because oh, oh. it was chugging charge. So much charge. Okay. You're like four shots of like charge. Over the legal limit, dude. Like 20 shots. Volkswagen has been under a lot of fire lately. You know, with the whole, yeah, we're totally clean diesel, but not really though. <laughs> but the brand is trying to muster up some excitement for its 2016 Volkswagen Passat. While it won't be available with a diesel engine right now, because VW pulled all of its diesel submissions to the EPA, of course, but you could still buy a gasoline powered 2016 Passat with a starting price tag of 23,260 $23, bucks. The starting engine is a 1.8 TSI Turbo 4 with 170 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of that. Torque. That's right, Erica. And a six-speed automatic transmission. Let's what? 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 Yep, yep. Okay. Buyers who want more power, Powell? <laughs> I'm a girl to get purr. Buyers who want more power will end up paying $37,655 for the V6 SEL Premium with a 3.6 liter VR6. 280 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of that. Torque. Linked to a six-speed DSG. Quite the price jump. Uh, I mean, I like the Passat, but it's a little too plain for me. It needs a solid design fresh, I think. And I think they are. And Ooh, underpowered. Man. What? It's underpowered. It is underpowered. They should just make the Passat look like the CC, make all of them look like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, time to see what the FLD fans are up to for Friends Day Wednesday. Isn't that right, Omar? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. First up is FLD fan Colette Jessica Baker here who commented on our Facebook page talking about when she first got her license. Uh, she didn't fail her test, but the day she got her license, uh, she drove over a cliff because she thought the gas was the brake pedal. Oh, Got it mixed and up. And she passed the she, test. Yeah, this was later in the day. Wow. She was okay, cops showed up and laughed at her, she said. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'm glad you're okay, Colette. But let me tell you a little something. Gas is on the right, brake is on the left. No cliffs, no cliffs after that. Yeah. Yeah. Next is Dennis. Zachev. Yeah, that was dead. Zachev. Tachev? Zachev. Uh, uh, takes me a few. Uh, yeah, like sorry if I messed it up. Well, um, this is what his Facebook looks like. No pictures. It's just Anyway, he saw this Audi A3 with a huge BMW M Power wing. Why? Why? It makes no sense. Downforce, bro. D downforce, bro. Get that M Power downforce on your A3. Vincent Ayash here, or Ayash here, said the... Uh, well, he saw the Batmobile in a Nissan Murano convertible form. <laughs> Zoom in a little bit. There you go. Uh, Bruce Wayne hit some hard times, I guess. Uh, mm. That's yeah. like one of the ugliest cars ever. Yeah, Bob yes. Schumann Jr. called it a slipper. <laughs> <laughs> right in when the top's down. Uh, FLD fan, Kona Hernandez here, riding side saddle on his motorcycle, by the way. You live dangerously, my friend. He saw this sign and said it looked like Elon Musk. Can you see it? It's like a cartoon character. Oh yeah, I think it does a little bit. And he's riding a bike that's eco-friendly, just like Tesla. Never know. Illuminati at work. Oh yeah. <laughs> Check out this Toyota Corolla. I have no idea what's going on here, but it's like a wannabe Back to the Future DeLorean. It's like Bizarro DeLorean. Why not? I don't know, a lot of, a lot of weird pipes and tubing going on. It's radioactive, apparently. Thanks to Parth Jogia here for that one, or Yogia. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for names here. Jango. <laughs> what? The D is silent. Yeah. <laughs> FLD fan Lele C, right here, he sent in this pic. A quad on the roof of an Audi TT. Yeah, I guess they really needed to get that quad somewhere. You know, just sitting on them TT. Sitting on that TT. Oh, uh, it's going to scratch the roof and everything. I don't get it. Uh, oh, yeah, the Enzo Scion FRS. Seems legit. Oh, yeah. New Jersey plates, too. Come on, Enzo. That badge adds like 100 horsepower. 100 horsepower, at least, unless the guy's name's Enzo. Thanks to John Prince for that one. Lastly, we have FLD fan Zachary Sackers. Great name. 
Next up is Zachary Sackers, who found his old iPod with old episodes of FLD on it. Jeez, look at that. Please don't look at that. Don't go back and watch very old episodes. What am I thinking? Anyway, thank you, friends. Appreciate the posts. Keep them coming. You might end up right here on Friends Day Wednesday. All right. It being Back to the Future Day and all, our FLD question of the day is, what futuristic car technology do you want to see become a reality? I mean, autonomous driving is just about almost fully here. Give it like within 10 years, five years or so. <laughs> Flying cars, yeah, not yet. Uh, we get that, but what else? I want it like. I want one of those jackets with the long sleeves that for your car automatically. It's gotta oh, be a car myself. related. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, like if your your tire goes flat, it just like it self inflates. Self inflates. Another one goes off, and another one just pops in. Yeah. I don't know. By itself. Just crazy stuff. Yeah, think run, think run way out of the box here. Let us know. Hashtag FLDQ of the D. AK, I know you got your voice modulator thing, but uh, what's that? What's that? Uh, what's that website? Tipsatpasslingdaily.com. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, and, uh, and that is going to do it for Pass Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, me? Oh, I'm going to go buy a hoverboard because they came out today. Oh, yeah. True, true. So, not those, th not those like fake hoverboards. So. No, I'll get a real one. Because in the movie it said it came out today, so head on down to Best Buy, pick one up, head on down to Pack Sun, <laughs> Zoomies. Zoomies. <laughs> Probably get like those self placing. You would get that devices. over a hoverboard? Yeah, I mean, I don't skateboard. Uh, I like to walk. You are essentially on. flying. Come on. Yeah. But you don't burn calories that way, then you just like... No, he was pedaling. <laughs> no, remember? Be a fat ass no, remember? <sighs> no, there are, that's people on segways. And I was people just on those, hovering around. No, that's already people on segways and those things with the two wheels that people are just like... Yeah. This leap. Ow.